All right, so what we're doing is we're doing a little, not a makeover, but it's a redo of the studio. And you can see we just got a brand new uh, Big Moss putting mat. We also got some, some other um, mats that we'll show you about in a little bit. And, and this is sort of the, the behind the scenes stuff. And, and really what I wanted to try to do here is give you an idea of uh, the putting surface. What we've done for, for 2021, 20, we took out a couple of the holes in the back end there. So we only have one there. We moved another hole here. And as I was hitting these putts, I, I, I was remarking to Greg how good this surface is. And, and a lot of people ask me, Michael, what do you look for in your putting surface? And I always say the settle. Now there's a truth to what happens with a putt. But the settle is really the thing that tells you the truth. Now, what do I mean about the truth? The truth is, when I stand over a putt of whatever distance, five or six feet, and I hit it, I'm going to know right away whether that golf ball was online or not online. So you can see that golf ball, that started on the line, and it didn't kind of bounce around. It doesn't, it doesn't wiggle. And, and what happens when you're choosing the putting mat, and I'll get to this in a second, is you want to have the strands of the artificial turf be soft enough that they don't fire the ball in directions that um, it wouldn't normally go in, if that makes sense to you. So when I'm hitting this putt, if I start this ball in the hole, it should stay in the hole. So I hit that very softly, and you can see that ball doesn't get bounced off. Now, when I talk about the settle, this is what I'm talking about. When a ball starts to slow down, that's when the artificial turf can, can kind of shoot it in directions, left or right. It can also slow it up depending upon how strong that strand is. Come on in and get a close-up look at this. I'm just going to hit this really, really gently. And what you're going to see when that ball goes is that ball just goes, it goes straight. It doesn't wobble all over the place. Let me do another one for you so you can see this. You see how that ball just travels in the direction that it's supposed to travel in. It's not like it all of a sudden, when it slows down or settles, gets bumped to the left or bumped to the right. So when I have a putt that requires real precision, I need precision from the mat. And when I say real precision, if I have a short putt like this, I don't have to be very precise. I can have my putter face a degree open or a degree closed, and it's still going to go in because of the shortness of the, of the putt. But when I start to get to, say, eight feet or longer, now I have to control that putter face within a degree. That is precision. So when I'm standing over a putt here of about 12, 15 feet, I need to be precise with my impact point, with my club face control, with the distance that the ball travels, et cetera. And I need the mat to be precise as well. So I'm looking at, is the ball just randomly jumping left or randomly jumping right? And then also too, when it starts to slow down, that settling that takes place, is it continuing on the intended line or the line that it was traveling on? So when I go into this putt here, and I hit that, you can see that ball just travels right down the line that I intend. It just goes in, but it didn't just kind of bounce left or bounce right. It's on that mat for an extended period of time. That's why I ended up choosing Big Moss, and they make the best surface. Now, this is a, 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 a specifically for me, for this studio, it's a cutout dimension of or a cutout part of, of a, an overall mat. When you order the mat online, you can get any kind of mat. But here's what I'm telling you. One of the things that many of you were thinking about for this, this uh, holiday season and this winter time that's approaching is I want to be able to do some work on my putting indoors. This is what you need to be thinking about. What is the settle? So when you start to evaluate, what is my surface like? Look at how it settles. You don't have to hit long putts. You have to hit short putts. And you have to look at how that ball settles. Does it then just recoil back? Or does it continue to twist in the direction that it's going? And that's a very, very important part of the mat that you're choosing. Now, we're going to show you also later in this series, we're going to show you about what you need to think about when you're choosing the hitting mat that you play off. But this is how I get the, the uh, putting surface that I'm using, and Big Moss is my choice. Hope that helps. And again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a safe and Happy New Year.